people, my people in Australia, Father's Day is about a month away. And if you're a dad like me and you need to start dropping a couple of hints on your little tightwad offspring, um, or you're a, one of the tightwad offspring wanting to uh, have a couple of ideas which you're going to send your old man or give your old man, and let's face it, um, there's not a father alive who can't do with um, any more sucking up. So I'm going to give you the five uh, boozers, make it very quick, that you can buy either in person or by mail order in Australia, or New Zealand, that should get you well and truly in the good books. Now I'm going to start with a whiskey. I know I do mostly gin, and there was at least one gin. Um, the Tannist. So Chief Sun, Somerville. This baby I used in the... Uh, the, the chocolate toddies. Um, there's one I made using two whiskies, that and the um, 900. This is beautiful and smooth. The old man will be able to drink it on the rocks. If he tries it with Coca Cola, um, just basically disown him, change your name, go and live on another continent. This is wicked. I get the label right. Um, on the rocks or sip neat. Okay, moving right along. We all know I've got three kids. I'm a busy, 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 busy man, which is the reason I'm speaking so damn fast. Um, the next one is something I've just reviewed recently, which is Mr. Black's cold uh, filtered coffee, cold brewed coffee liqueur. The base alcohol is vodka, um, available in most uh, liquor stores. Or I, as always, I'm going to provide a link to all these babies in the write up. Now, having mentioned vodka and uh, Mr. Black, the best vodka made in Australia today, without exception, is Port Phillips. Uh, distilleries premium distilled vodka and it's smoother and they'd be using this as um grease in your engine oil in your engine this is the easiest drinking vodka i've ever come across now i mentioned there'd be at least one gin in this okay i would recommend that we do the jindu barrel aged it's not aged in your average english oak this is actually aged in kyrgyz acre which is a sweet oak very smooth, um, sip it neat on the rocks if you must. Um, absolutely fantastic. And to finish off, he doesn't love a brandy. You know, brandy, brandy, brandy. What a wonderful name there was a young singer when I was young called Brandy. So I'm going to go out to research my friend Mick and his um, imbued distillery's brandy. It's a Pinot brandy. This makes a lethal toddy. Um, or do what I do. Again, sip it neat. Um, and um, trust me, you do drop, drop one of or all five of these uh, Australian produced uh, alcohol to the old man and trust me, I think you might share the inheritance might um, increase. And if you're a dad out there and you're thinking, okay, Father's Day is coming up in um, early September, I've got really no idea what the hell it is I want. I've just solved it. Pick one of these or pick all of them. Hell yeah. Go to the offspring and say, oh, by the way, it's, it's, it's time to to pay back all those hours, um, you know, watching you play soccer or you know, dance the ballerina or, you know, synchronize underwater swimming and all that stuff. Um, so Father's Day coming up, it's a chance to, for the fathers amongst us and grandfathers amongst us to go out and just say, I want some payback, I want some first rate booze. And I've just given you five examples of it. They're all Australian made and the vast majority of them are actually Victorian which which we know is the spirits capital of Australia. Thanks for watching. I'll be mine for a lot more happy hints. Bye.